The Eastern Cape Department of Education will visit the Dale Junior College pupils who were injured in yesterday's car crash. The accident claimed the lives of two pupils and left 14 injured. The MEC for Education, Fundile Gade, was at the school this morning saying the department will assist the affected families. Academic activities at the junior school were suspended for today. Abong Leyankis has more on the story. Well, a very good morning to you in studio and to the viewers at home. Well, academic activities here at Dale Jr. have been suspended following the death of two learners here at the school believed to be in grade 7 and the other one aged 12 years old. They were coming from a hockey match at a school in East London and they met their untimely deaths while coming back from that particular match. With me I do have the MEC for Education in the Eastern Cape of Fundile Garde, who came to visit the school this morning. A very good morning to you, MEC. Um, really the school has sort of a dark cloud because this is not the first death within this year. What can you say about that? Yes, it's one of those experiences that we are exposed to uh, precisely because of the attraction of the school to a variety of communities around King William Star and also the attraction of a variety of uh, people around the activities that are happening in the school. This is one of the biggest schools in the King Williamstown area. So unfortunately they have to endure um, this unfortunate situation. But however we have taken a decision to postpone um, the academic uh, progression today uh, so that uh, we can have uh, psychosocial services coming in and deal with the teachers and uh, the non-teaching staff today and the learners must come back on, on, on tomorrow uh, so that they can also undergo that particular process. But for me what is critical is for me to ensure that um, we visit um, the affected kids in their hospitals respectively. We within the week visit the families concerned uh, so that we can discuss as a current government um, how to close up um, uh, this incident with the families so that the families can have a dignified funerals uh, of their own kids. An update, let me see, um, how many children are still in hospital now and what's their position now i understand that we haven't gone there but how many are in hospital as we speak now in terms of the briefing uh, there were seven uh, of them uh, last night uh, that were critical which uh, needed to be looked very closely hence i then said i can't i can't i can't take any responsibility further today i must make sure that i go there so that if there is any intervention there to be made by myself and government that must happen not later than today uh, in relation to the ones that are in hospital Coming to the funeral arrangements, I believe that you also want to lend a helping hand with the funeral arrangements and all those logistics. Yeah, yes, we, we, have been one, we have been one of the uh, departments and the province that have been doing that. You'll remember that we have just recently done it into Lusikisiki, one of the teachers that was killed. And I think it's the same approach that we're going to use uh, so that at least we, we, we take responsibility. Uh, full responsibility as government uh, to ensure that at least our people uh, does have closure uh, in a manner that is a bit dignified. I thank you so much Amisi for your time and hopefully this will come better because the staff morale is low here as we can see and surely it would affect the academic activity so the, how long do you expect the psychosocial services and counseling to take place here? They are starting in fact today uh, with the staff, uh, with the teachers, um, they are almost going to take the entire week uh, uh, from the briefing that I got from the HOT so that we be clinical uh, in dealing with this matter precisely because of the, um, the fact that it has been uh, 
part of the experience that they have. This is not the first and the second incident. If I'm calculating it properly, it's the third one within a space of a, a year now. So meaning that there is a need of an intensive program of awareness, an intensive program of psychosocial services, an intensive program of motivational um, aspect, an intensive program of rehabilitation and also uh, government intervening uh, in terms of ensuring that those that might have been affected grossly uh, are given a space uh, to go for online education uh, so that they don't have a burden of coming to school but equally learn whilst they are at school because remember we do have a program on online education now so they can they can they can still uh, undergo the process of schooling at, 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 at home so I'm saying that's the hybrid approach that I think we'll have to take into into consideration I thank you so much MEC for your time well that was MEC Fundele Garde for the education department here in the Eastern Cape saying that they will try by all means to accommodate the affected families and that they are due to visit the seven who are still in hospitals in and around East London. Back to you in studio.